What is happening guys? Range Day Bro here with Energetic Armament today to talk to you about the Sonus 9 silencer. Let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the nitty gritty on the specs on the Sonus 9, we must first talk about what this can was designed for. And this can was designed primarily to be used with any kind of PCC pistol caliber carbine or sub gun that you see like this guy right here, the Chris Vector, chambered in nine millimeter that takes Glock mags. Pretty cool setup right here. And it sounded phenomenal on this gun. But that is what it's primarily designed for. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, you can obviously use it on a handgun, as you see right here, with a booster assembly. This one is the Silencer Co. So it is Bravo Hub compatible. Whether you want a direct thread mount it, use some sort of quick detach like the ASR or the Chemo or the Cherry Bomb, any of those will work as well, as well as any kind of booster assembly or any kind of tri lug assembly as well. They're all compatible with the Sonus 9. So fear not, no matter what post you want to put this gun on, there are a variety of ways for you to mount it up depending on your application. So as you guys know, efficiency is at the core of everything that Energetic Armament does, and the Sonus 9 surely does not disappoint in achieving that goal. So how do we achieve it? Let's talk about the specs. So this silencer is entirely machined from a 17.4 H900 heat treated stainless steel. It is a tubeless design and has five baffles welded in the stack. This thing is designed to be ultra light coming in at 9.8 ounces without sacrificing that durability. The precision engineered 17.4 design allows for thinner walls, which not only optimizes low weight, but also increases internal volume while maintaining a smaller outer envelope. More internal volume obviously means better sound attenuation and thinner walls also means better heat transfer as the silencer converts the kinetic energy of the high-speed muzzle gases into heat rather than sound. All of these factors combined are the perfect recipe for giving you the most sound suppression while maintaining a smaller, lighter can. As we've already discussed, the Sonus 9 will ship with a half by 28 direct thread adapter as featured on the Chris Vector here, but it is Bravo Hub compatible for any of those quick detach methods that you'd like. So one of the coolest things about the Sonus 9 that really sets it apart from the rest of the 9mm cans that are out there on the market today is the removable wipe front cap here. So for those of you who are not familiar, a wipe is a high temperature silicone that actually forms around a subsonic round as it exits the silencer and it really captures a lot of that gas to give you the ultimate sound suppression and the quietest suppressor possible when using subsonic ammunition. So eventually the wipe will be worn out and then you can replace it by removing the end cap, using a socket to remove the wipe retainer. And then we have the recipe on the website online that you are able to actually manufacture these on your own. Now they are considered a suppressor component or parts for a suppressor. So you have to destroy your existing one before you create the new one, but all the instructions are online on our website. So you can figure that out, what parts to order down to the tools and the punches and all that stuff. So you guys can do it at home and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. We were shooting some stealth 167 grain nine mil through both the Vector and the Springfield Echelon here with the Sonus 9, and it sounded absolutely phenomenal with that wipe intact. Now, obviously the can is still gonna work after the wipe has been shot out, but it's not gonna give you that ultimate suppression, but it's still extremely quiet even without a wipe or a shot out wipe. As I mentioned earlier, this silencer is 9.8 ounces with a half by 28 direct thread mount. However, it will add 0.4 ounces when you add the wipe and the retainer to the front cap. It is 6.6 .6 inches in length with a direct thread adapter, and it is 1.5 inches in diameter at the serial ID ring. The entire silencer is manufactured from a heat-treated 17.4 H900 stainless steel that is American sourced, and both of the suppressors in this video today are featuring the Medox finish. We also offer it in a black nitride. I mentioned a moment ago the serial ID ring. This is a patented design that all of our centerfire silencers feature. The serial ID ring, as the name implies, is the serialized item, so if you ever were to have any issue with your silencer for any reason, you could send it back to us. We simply drill out the swage point on the serial ID ring, remove it from the silencer core itself, replace it, thread it onto a new core, reswage it back onto the new core, and then we ship it back out to you. This patented design allows our turnaround time for suppressor repairs to be incredibly fast, although we don't anticipate you'll have any reason to send it back because it is an extremely durable suppressor. The Sonus 9 is rated for a wide variety of calibers, including but not limited to obviously 9 millimeter, 300 blackout with subsonic and supersonic ammo, subsonic 8.6 blackout, 38 or 357 Magnum, all with no barrel length restrictions under 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also rated for 350 Legend with a 10 inch minimum barrel length. So now that we've covered the specs, guys, let's talk about what comes in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the silencer itself. It's also going to include that half by 28 direct thread adapter. It'll also come with a multi-tool wrench, one for the direct thread adapter in the back and one for the front cap here that is removable. Obviously, you'll be able to remove that and then use a socket for the wipe retainer on the inside of the direct thread cap. We also ship all of our silencers with the Vox Blocks, which is an extremely convenient tool to use when you have a vice at home. It allows you to work on your silencer without marring it up or damaging it and not having to use two wrenches in the field like a lot of other manufacturers use. And besides that, it's gonna include a packet of antices, decals, and instructions. So if you are in the market for a nine mil sub gun can, a PCC can, or even for your nine mil pistols with a threaded barrel, look no further than the Sonus 9. It is an absolute lightweight contender 
for the absolute best suppression possible in the smallest package possible. With its small diameter, you could recess it under handguard if you want to run that, if you like that look. It is a great option out there with these short wait times. Look no further than the Energetic Armament Sonus 9. Once again, thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out in the algorithm, guys. And until next time, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to the next one.